Hey, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to my favorite part of my week, which is reading the Beachcomber with you. Yeah, let's hang out. Let's see what's happening here on our beautiful island of Vashon, according to Vashon Mori Island Beachcomber. Hey, Doki. Ready? Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> So um, we are now, this is really good news. I love this news that there, there's island center homes being built. So 40 income qualified homes are being built uh, in the middle, of, you know, right near island center forest. This is fantastic news. Uh, you know, affordable housing has been a real, is a real deal on this island. We talked about it last week with a different set of apartments being donated to Vashon household. It's fabulous. They got us deal from the state money to start this property building and they are uh building these units which is just fabulous news so this is going to be really 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 great do they have cool pictures they don't have cool pictures of it yet but we're super excited that there's new um affordable housing and 40 units is nothing to sneeze at so really nicely located center island center island right near center island forest right near um uh uh, Sawbones and the O space right on Bashan Highway. Just fantastic. Very, very, very good news. The other piece of news, which is I would deem less than good news, it, but highly predictable, is that the three boat schedule we were used to be on is not going to happen till May. All right. So, for those of you that are not familiar with this beautiful piece of news, there was a time, I remember a time, I was a young man then, before the pandemic. I remember before the pandemic, yeah. I, so before the pandemic, there used to be three boats that serviced Vashon. Vashon, Southward, Fauntleroy. That's the triangle route. And there were three boats, and life was good. People complained about the ferries, but, you know, people complain right, all the time about everything. But there were three boats. During the pandemic, it went down to two boats, and it's never come back. There are Crewing issues, staffing issues with the boats. The boats themselves are old. The Walla Walla just, if the Bremerton run a boat ran ashore, you know, lost its power and washed ashore. 500 people on the boat. Good times. Good times. That's always fun. One of our boats from Vashon to Fauntleroy ran into the Dolphin, which are the big cylindrical metal posts that guide the boat to the dock. Well, the boat ran into it and the Ferry captain quit right afterwards. So we're assuming, you know, he, us here on Vashon are thinking, drinky, drinky for the uh, captain. We don't know for sure what happened, but they just fixed it. It was some millions of dollars to fix it. Let's see. I think it's in here somewhere. The grounding of the 50-year-old the Walla Walla on April 15th. Yes, that's 600 people on board. That's good times. Where Anything else interesting? There, I, there was something about the Cathlement. Um yeah, seven point seven million dollars. Good time. So now they just don't have this crewing to get us back to three boats. Which, okay, whatever. You know, for those of us that live here, we're like, yeah, we're used to this, and we don't. You know, no one lives in Vashon because we want to party. You know, we're pretty much. I don't want people to bother me, and down to two boats makes it so that no one bothers you. If it's, you know, that's just the way that is. You know, and now they're not doing it till May. Now where it's going to be a real problem and this is the first summer that it's really been fully post pandemic if there's only two boats and this after memorial day i would recommend you not come here on a friday just anything after three o'clock it's going to be a four hour wait for a boat it's gonna be a nightmare in west seattle the line's gonna go all the way back to california it's gonna be crazy if you want to know more about the ferry lines and stuff go look at my little video on the ferry situation but that's going to make it really, really, really problematic in the summer. It's going to be good times. We already, you know, very few people who live here leave the island on Fridays because getting back anytime from three to nine is just unlikely to happen, especially on a two boat schedule. It's just never going to happen. So if they can get it back by the end of May, we'd be okay. Either way, we're going to be okay, but that's the way that is. Um, Anyway, so that's not till May, and there's no one who's surprised about that, okay? Um, then uh, there was one other piece of thing I wanted to go 
go through there was like oh what's happening where's the cat with the cat no there was oh, there there's just some cool stuff for uh earth day so there's an earth day event here there's uh, uh electronic disposal day should be excellent uh opportunity to get rid of all our junk in your house this would be a really great place to do that uh, just a couple other just really cool Earth Day things. I just want to find the ad exact. That's a sound publishing one. No, I don't want the sound publishing one. I want the Vashon one. Don't give me that. No. All right. Well, their website is less than navigation. Happenings. Here it is. Happenings. That's what it's called. Happenings. It's it's always user error, folks. It's always my problem. All right. So, oh, the tool library is having a sale. That's pretty cool. I need a new pick. I'm going to the tool library on Saturday. Going to get me a pick. The tool library is great. There's this huge warehouse by the O space that is, uh, you know, you can go in and borrow tools. It's a library, but for tools, anything you need. So it's great. But I would like to actually go buy a pickaxe. If they have an extra pickaxe, that'll be great. They probably, they wind up with duplicates and things. People just donate stuff there. So that's exciting. And then uh, there's an Earth Day event. And um, if you want to make a May Day basket, it's very exciting. Look at this. My, Michelle Barber is teaching you how to make weave baskets. Okay. I can't think of anything less interesting, but there you go. If that's your deal, knock yourself out. Here's the electronics recycling event, which is great. So you can bring in all your electronic stuff that you don't want because you can't just do anything with that. So you can do that there. And then there's, uh, uh, oh, at the makerspace, which is over by the tool library, there's woodworking classes. Okay. So there you go. Oh, oh, fairy advisory community meeting. Let me tell you something about those. They make no difference. I mean, seriously, there is, I can't think of anything that has ever been enacted out of all the complaints that happened there. So uh, there you go. Just good luck with that. Um, so if you're interested in any of these kind of fashion things, right, just let me know. I'm happy to show you around. Yeah, I love the tool. I'm very excited about the tool library sale. So I'm going to write that down. And if you got any questions about any of the cool stuff that's happening here on Vashon, I think there was some in the sports section. There was just something else about rowers. Yes, there's our rowers. Yay, go team. And uh, oh, those are just those are that's old news. Old news there. Okay, so we'll keep you posted of all the exciting sports happening here on the Vashon Island situation. Okay. Any cool letters to the editor worth reading today? Um, sometimes there's feisty, feisty people in here, but nothing today. Oh, here's a poem. Oh, it's in February. We're going to keep it. We'll just keep it current for y'all. All right. Meantime, that's what we got. Okay. There's the welcoming of Seattle Indian Health Board that we talked about last week. Okay. Um, so great. All right, good. So love that. Love welcoming them. Let's keep our fingers crossed that that is a successful opportunity on our island, successful opportunity for the people involved. We would love that to go really well. We'd love to have that really, really work itself out. Um, all right, Groovy. That's what I got. If you have questions about real estate or questions about Vashon Island, I am here for you. Let me know. Happy to talk to you anytime. Message me, subscribe, do the little internet things you do. Talk to you soon.